Welcome back to the homestead. This is a quick tour of our, well, what we have so far for an orchard. We're up at the far end of our property right now, um, very close to our, our next door neighbor's house. Callie in your yard now, over here. So this first tree here is an apple. Um, I believe, let me see, here's the, okay, it's a Northern Spy. Um, and then we've got another apple. This one is a Honeycrisp, which is one of my favorite apples of all time. And then we only got one peach this year so far. Here in Maine, only uh, in certain regions can you grow peaches, and we're this one's a contender. And we are right kind of on the cusp of um, zone four and five. So we are going to get another one next spring. We've already got quite a few things picked out. And this is what most New Englanders know as a beach plum but it's really good for pollinating all types of plums. And for the longest time, it did not leaf out. We thought for sure it was dead, but it finally did. And now of course, most of the leaves are coming off of it. So this one, they call it, let's see what they call it, uh, an American plum, but we call it a beach plum because they're really small, but really awesome pollinator. And then the last one that we got is another plum. And this one is called, oh, it's a something heart plum. Oh, darn. I probably, I think it's a purple heart plum. Yeah. So uh, we went to the Fedco tree sale this spring. And that's where we got our saplings. And uh, all the stuff, the nutrition and things that they tell you to get to put in the ground. So... Yeah, that's our small little orchard. We have plans for uh, probably another plum, another peach, I think three or four more apples, um, two cherry, two pear, and two cherry, uh, cherry, pear, plum, peach, apple. I think that might be it for next year. I, I just know that when we were calculating it online, it was coming out to about $350. So it's going to be quite the expense, but we still have space up here to plant more trees in our orchard. We also want to get some nut trees. So I think we're going to try and do quite a few new things um, here. But anyway, that was just a quick tour of our small garden as of right now for right, for so our trees. We've our been winterizing and one of the things is winterizing pipes and this one is what we're going to use for people who come to visit and have a, a trailer site and whatnot but Gary's made it easy for us to winterize it by, go ahead. Uh, down below the frost line we put a curb stop in mm -hmm. which is a shut, shut off valve with just a quarter turn but it's got a drain in it so that when you shut it off the water will drain out of the pipe above the ground and automatically be winterized. All you got to do is open the faucets. Pretty simple. Our first wood pile from two years ago uh, we got, I think, three orders of slab wood, and that's what we burned, um, dry pine. Uh, and that first winter, we didn't burn a lot. We burned mostly everything outside and a few things inside, but not much. It was the second winter that we used all that slab wood, and I got an order of green hardwood. So I don't recommend that. I would say you want to get uh, the most dry wood that you possibly can, but, you know, Green wood and, and pine will do at a pinch, but you will be cleaning your chimney out a lot. So be prepared for that. So this wood here is wood that we scored after the town went through and did a lot of pruning. And it's all, as far as I know, it's all hardwood, not just pine. So 
this has been sitting here since the spring, um, just drying out and we'll get around to cutting it up soon, I believe. Um, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for wood just laying on the side of the road. We, gra we, we grabbed it up in the spring and, and brought it over and just stacked it up and, you know, that'll burn for a little while. So I didn't get to finish my complete garden tour and right now we're out in the front looking at our flower beds. So this first one, or it's actually the last one that we planted, but um, we had dahlias and gladiolas and lots of other things planted in here. I put some phlox in, that's a perennial, so it will stay. There's some yellow eye black and black eye Susans, other plants. Over here, same thing. I. I uh, got some flocks from our house on the Cape and it transplanted pretty well. Um, got two of those and then a new one from this year. This also had dahlias and lots of gladiolas and here in New England you have to pull those up because there are tubers and um, bulbs that just will not live through a freeze.